We've shown you some jaw-dropping photos of medical conditions over the season. It's time for, what is this? Drew, what happened? And, oh my gosh, and could it happen to me? <laughs> so let's start with this picture. What is this, anyone? Anyone? Anyone, anyone, Bueller? <laughs> This is a condition called tongiasis. This is the feet of a 10-year-old girl in Brazil who went and played in a pigsty in bare feet. And these are sand fleas. So they're found in sand, they're found in soil. And what they do is they burrow into your skin, just like they would burrow through sand. And those black things in the mounds are the actual sand fleas. Once they burrow in, they can grow to two thousand times their original size. And the way these are treated is you have to go in and take them out one by one, then you take care of the wound. And this little girl is fine. She's completely cleared. But this image is so striking from the New England Journal have, of Medicine. Have you, have you removed like live fleas from under the skin? You know, I've, to be fair, I've only done it once. I've done myiasis, well, done which it. is yeah, bot flies. These are sand fleas, which are even a little bit more specialized. Very common in tropical areas yeah, like Brazil. Where people don't wear yeah. common here in Los Angeles. You know, interestingly, not super common, but the WHO, the World Health Organization, estimates that about 20 million people are at risk for these conditions. Wow. So just be mindful. Don't go play in pigsties barefoot um, or sandy environments in tropical areas. He's checking. Are you He's just checking? checking? For we're for fleas. We're looking. We want to make sure. All right, so let's yes. move on to our next photo. Any idea what happened here? Frostbite. Well, yeah, it, it, and that's really, you're not really, far really off. good. Yeah. Yes, this yeah. man, he actually had his fingers turn black and blue like this. He also developed a fever, had pain. And you know what this was due to? Something known as polyarteritis nodosum. And this is essentially a vasculitis, which means he had severe inflammation of his medium-sized vessels, obstructing blood flow. And he had to go on basically anti-inflammatory treatments to improve the vasculitis, did recover, but he did have to have those fingers amputated. Yeah, so, so what happens is when you have the inflammation of these medium-sized arteries, that can cause enough inflammation that your blood can't get through those vessels. So the black you're seeing is like someone pointed out frostbite. It's the necrosis. Yep. It's the it's, death it's of the tissue because it's and not that's getting the blood. too far. That's why they had to end up amputating. It, it's also why everyone fingers. watching, if you, so one of the things I see in the emergency department a lot are the symptoms and signs from poor blood flow. And when you first walk in, you're not sure why someone has fingers or toes that are starting to turn blue. But what we almost always know is that it's most likely due to poor blood flow. And so we have to figure out, well, is that due to long-term smoking? Is this due to an inflammatory condition, an autoimmune disease? Cold. The sooner you can, and most of these are treatable. So if he had gone in sooner, he probably could have saved those fingers but clearly just let it progress and progress to the point where the tissue itself died. So um, that's why when, when, whenever you- See an appendage turn color. You yeah. don't, you even don't even the slightest bit of like a hue of blue, go, go get it checked out. 